everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs this is going to be for the sun moon and rising uh, or ascendant of course of the sign Leo as Leo uh, initially the beginning of the month was um, the video with the most views uh, so that's the I promised all Leos on my Instagram and on my Facebook that that would be the first video that I upload so you guys um, if you guys are cross watching just know um, I'm going to be going through uh, the most views videos are the ones that I'm going to put out uh, sooner. So there you go. Also comment, like, and share. If you're interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. So let's get on with this. I wish you guys the very best on Hollow's Eve. Uh, for some of you guys, you guys may be watching it as soon as it's uploaded. For others, you guys may be watching this at the end of the month. So I wish you guys the very best for this Hollow's Eve or for Halloween for most of you guys. So anyways, let's get into this. This is going to be for Leos. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of October. Spirit, what are the messages for Leos regarding their love life? For the mid-month of October 2017, Leos, Leos, what are the messages for Leos? For the mid-month of October 2017. So I'm going to be pulling out cards for you and then your partner or the person that you're dealing with or you're interested in. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Leos. <clears throat> so one of the cards already popped out. This is the Six of Swords. So this is, uh, these are your cards, Leos. So you guys are either moving away um, moving away from a situation or a person, um, and this is inevitable, this is already happening. So for some of you guys, you guys may be, um, either moving towards a better harmony, uh, for others, you guys are just moving away from a chaotic type of energy or situation. So let's get into your reading. All right, so your next card is your card, Leos, the strength card, the lover's card, and the Queen of Wands. I feel the Queen of Wands is definitely your card. Um, and you do have your card here with the Strength card as well. So I'm pulling out your partner's cards, which is the uh, Hierophant, the Emperor, the High Priestess, and the Four of Wands. Let me pull out your general situation. Okay. General situation is the five of pentacles. All right, so this is a general uh, situation. This is what's going on in your surrounding at the present time. The five of pentacles does represent a struggle, other, uh, either money-wise, um, having financial difficulties. Uh, for some of you guys, you guys are currently looking for a job or trying to place yourself in a more stable type of uh, ground, uh, whether it's relationships or whether it's on a you know, in a different sector, but this is love reading. Uh, so for some of you guys, it could be represented like feeling that you've been left out in the cold, feeling like your partner's definitely not understanding or you guys are not, haven't been uh, lately um, feeling like you guys are on the same page. So anyway, so let's get into your reading. I do want to mention uh, Leos. You guys have a lot of major arcana so the major arcanas are definitely representation of higher spirit uh, these are energies that you have to learn from whether you want to or not it's it's inevitable uh, these are lessons that must be dealt with at the present time or that you guys will be faced uh, throughout the middle of the month okay so anyways like i said you have the six of swords so the six of swords is definitely moving away from chaotic situation or uh, moving away, uh, releasing yourself away from a partner. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be that you're actually in a, perhaps you guys haven't been in a relationship for quite a while, could be six months, could be six years, um, but you guys are finally detaching yourself from that type of situation, from that type of emotional bondage or emotional connection that you still felt. So it could be a representation or a symbology of cutting the cords from the past and moving forward. You do have the strength card here and the strength card is definitely your card, Leo, but it also speaks about having confidence in yourself, uh, perhaps through difficulties or perhaps through experiences that you felt or you went through with your current partner or the person that you were with in the past, uh, perhaps they kind of made you feel like you kind of lost your spark. You kind of, uh, 
Leos are not known to be shy, but this could be you, you kind of shine away from attention. Uh, it could have to do with emotional, you know, a psychological, uh, psychological abuse, uh, a person that is very abusive towards you kind of made you question, uh, you know, your self-worth, uh, doubting, you know, again, like I said, it's all about confidence, but from this six of swords, you're moving on to the strength card. So you're finding yourself, you're finding your strength again. You're coming back to your confidence. You're starting to believe in yourself again, and you have the lover's card. So the lover's card again is a representation, obviously of a partnership. Um, it could be a partnership, whether it's long lasting or it could be a, like a sexual type of, uh, it is definitely a sexual charged card. We are on October and uh, Jupiter is in alignment um, in Scorpio. So what this represents, it could represent that your sexuality starts to come out. For some of you guys, again, like I said, if you've been single for quite a while, you're starting to play um, with your sexuality, not being shy or not shying away from flirting, not shying away from using that sexual type of energy to your advantage, even to attract partners. Now you do have the queen of wands here and the queen of wands definitely talks about your energy, Leo. Um, and this is you again, like I said, I feel that with the strength card and the lovers, you are getting to a point in your life where you are starting to feel comfortable in your own skin you're trusting you you're confident you're radiating this type of energy and it's like you know exactly what you want and you're not going to settle with anything or anyone less than what you feel you deserve and that's definitely a good thing again going from this five of pentacles the struggle the the um almost feeling of like not worthy enough of a person or of love even. So uh, I definitely see you guys by the end of the month, Leo's very, very in your own energy and amplified. Uh, again, like I said, with Scorpio or Jupiter and Scorpio, you guys are definitely tapping into that sexuality and being very almost seductive in a way uh, with your charm and your charisma. Now, how you're perceiving your partner at the present time for those of you guys that are in a relationship at the present time you're definitely seeing them uh pull away from a situation perhaps again could be tied to money so if they were struggling money wise or if you're still struggling money wise and it's been affecting your relationship you're moving on pulling away from that and being stronger becoming unified really understanding each other or even the contrast of not being on the same page you're starting to feel like finally you guys are on the same page you guys want the same goals um, the lover's card again next to your card which is the queen of wands is definitely ignited sexual energy so perhaps for some of you guys that uh, haven't had the time <laughs> or haven't put the effort um, it's going to be a very sexually charged month for you guys even going all the way to November now how your partner is seeing the situation they have the hierophant here so if you guys are currently dealing with someone that you guys currently started investing your time time in you may be dealing with the Taurus or you may be dealing with another fire sign like yourself which would be an Aries Sagittarius or a Leo like yourself like I said you, they have the Emperor here so this is a very um, rigid type of energy but also very very structured type of energy and this is a person that is um, if it's a male or female this is a person that sees they're kind of like the protector type of energy whether it's a male or female again like I said um, but they're definitely wanting long uh, commitment with you long-term commitment they're definitely putting the work in you have the high priestess here and the high priestess is this is how they're viewing you so there there's a mysteriousness to you that they want to kind of um, I wouldn't say learn, but they're trying to tap into because they know that there is much more than what you, you know, show to the world. Uh, they're definitely captivated and it could also represent that they feel you may be hiding something from, from them. So it could be you hiding um, that you truly care for them. Perhaps you're coming off a little too strong uh, in the sense of dominant, um, but they kind of they're kind of hoping that you will finally reveal that sentimental side to you i know leos could be come off as either shy 
um, at first impression, they could come off shy or they can come off very dominant. And again, again, if they come off as shy, it's usually not that they're shy, they're just studying you. And if they come off as very dominant, it's not that they're dominant, it's just that they have this need, this innate need that goes deeper, uh, deeper in their nature that they have to show kind of the world what they're made of you know so it, it's nothing on a superficial level with leos um so anyways they you do have the four of wands here so there's definitely commitment coming in for those of you guys that have been dating for quite a while your partner is actually debating whether they want to move forward whether they want to step it to the next level or whether they want to um again like i said take it to the next level or whether they want to continue on being where you guys are at which i feel that at this present time with the five of pentacles there is a need a major need for change so the only way that this relationship can progress it's taking it to the next level and i feel that your partner is definitely um doing that or it's definitely in the works for you guys now for those of you guys that are single and are not dealing with anyone at the present time understand and know that you're going through this transition where you're becoming more um comfortable being in your own skin you're you're finding that confidence within yourself and you're going to be you're going to notice by the end of october that even if you guys are on the dating scene and you're dating people or you know uh, getting to know someone you're going to see that there's going to be triggers that happen where they may say something and you take it a certain way and you become very defensive and it's not so much defensiveness um it's just that at this point you're so sure of yourself and you know your worth that you're not going to settle for any bullshit you're not gonna, like you're you are not shy from calling out on bullshit and that's definitely how i see you by the end of the month um very assertive a very aggressive in the sense of it's my time and I value my time and if I'm giving you my time you better not you know try to feed me bullshit because I will call you out on it that type of energy now I do see um again like I said a Taurus coming in or an Aries um I would say a fire sign but the Emperor is definitely talking to me about an Aries so it could be an Aries as well that's coming into your life again like I said by the end of the month going all the way to November first week of November and again like I said I feel that they're gonna they're gonna be very pulled towards you because of your charisma your energy but also that they're wanting like they fee they see you as an enigma almost a conundrum like they can't figure you out uh, but just know that if it is again like I said whether it's a Taurus that you dealt with in the past that you're currently not dealing with uh, if it's an ex then that ex is definitely coming through um, third almost la last uh, week of October so it'd be the third by the end of the third week or going into the fourth week of November uh, they're definitely going to you know come back into your life and try to reach out if you're dealing with an Aries and this is a new person coming in again like I said I do see new developments with this four of wands so there is promise for stability there's promise for progression in regards to your love life and again for you Leos I know Leos are very loyal to a certain extent almost um, old school in a way when it comes to their sexuality when it comes to being single um, so for those of you guys that have been suppressing your sexual energies just be very careful uh, at the end of the month not to rush into anything um, not to rush into having you know uh, sexual connections with people or whatnot because then if that's the case and you actually uh, decide to move forward based on your needs and desires then what's going to happen is um, you're going to fall into that you know what's the word I'm looking for you're going to fall into um, I hate to use this word but I mean you know the FWB if you guys know what I mean um, you know nobody wants that fuck stuff fuck with buddy situation but I do see that there might be that energy uh, by the end of the month also because again like I said uh, the strength card ha is very strong and prominent when it comes to sexuality and next to the lovers card it's like you've been suppressing this so again uh, for those of you guys that are not dating and have been single for quite a while there's absolutely nothing wrong with loving yourself um, I actually encourage 
that versus just giving yourself to anyone. I hope that makes sense. So I wish you guys the very best. Comment, like, share my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we will see each other at the beginning of the month of November. Blessings. Bye.